What's happening hustlers? Welcome to another portfolio breakdown video on my Mr. Betsmart channel. Now today we're gonna to go through again, like we do every single month, all of my live investments and incomes on my screen recording on my phone so we can see how much money I've got after the month of April. If you wanna check out any of my other videos, I've done this the last eight months and there's a playlist up in the corner of the video now. But let's just jump straight into the portfolio and see what my total is at. Fingers crossed we've hit 70K, but I highly doubt it. Let's go. So my first investment is my stocks and shares ISA. You can get this with Trading212 or anyone, but I use my Seki account, which is just with my work. It's the exact same as Trading212 eToro, uh, just gets slightly lower feet. And as you can see, that is sat at 10,474 pounds and seven pence. And that, as we can see, is invested in uh, a North America equity index fund, and I believe in America's innovation in the long term. So I'm investing 200 pounds every single week into that. I've just posted a video as well around a week ago on my dollar cost averaging journey, just beginning. And if you wanna look at what I'm putting away every single week, then check that video out. It's also another link in the corner. Next, we go onto my Fundsmith account. Now this is a fund I hold um, with Fundsmith, which basically holds a small basket of companies and they believe in their long-term value and it's got good past returns. Obviously that's not an indicator of future results, but I'm just, um, I put in a lump sum into this around 13,000 pounds a couple of years ago. And as we can see, it's sat at 13,923 pounds and 14 pence. Next, we have my Lifetime ISA, which I hold with Moneybox, which I think is a really good app if you want to get a Lifetime ISA. Basically, if you put up to £4,000 into this account, you can get up to £1,000 bonus. So it's 25% of your contributions each year, up to £4,000, and you can use it for a house deposit or into your pension uh, in later life. I would only recommend opening this account if you are definitely going to use it for a deposit, as the fees for withdrawing your money uh, can make you actually get less money than you put in. You can get a cash LISA or a stocks and shares LISA. I have a stocks and shares LISA. And as you can see, that is valued £11,664.54. Next, we have Binance, where I hold most of my crypto. And in here, I've got coins like Ethereum, Bitcoin, XRP, and Cardano that I'm holding for the long term. And as you can see, we're valued at $8,098.25, which is valued at around £6,500, which I think has dropped quite a lot. We've next got my share incentive plan where I put £150 away a month and my company gives me a matching share and a half of that. So I had £375 on, so I'm going to change this to £3,750. Next we have my pension, which I hold with this app called Smart Pension that's a really, really good app and that's valued at £3,426.38, which isn't too bad. Next we have Trading212, which is another stocks and shares ISA where I hold the S&P 500 index fund, where I put around 3,000 pounds into this. And as you can see, it's valued at 3,644 pounds and 48 pence. Next, we have my KuCoin account, which is where I put some money into some speculative crypto coins uh, like Lattice, API3 and Triads. And this is at $1,102.23 which in pounds is valued at around 876 pounds. We've then got my Coinbase account where I'm holding AMP. And as you can see, we are low. We're at $367.69. This has been dropping like a bomb this month, but I'm just gonna leave it in there for the long term. I really like the coin, what it's doing. So $367.69, which is 292 pounds. I've then got shares in Octopus and Plum, and these are still private companies, so I'm just leaving those as the uh, price that I bought them at. We've then got my Monzo account, which is another bank where I hold some money in, and as you can see, that is at 444 pounds and four pence. We then got my other bank of my Santander, and as you can see, that is at 1,971 pounds and 82 pence. We've then got my credit card. Now this is with an app called Time It, which is a FinTech app, which is really good. It's got around 1500 pounds credit limit and I think it approves the majority of people and you can set it up to just take direct debits out of your main bank account so that you pay it off every month and start building that credit score. And as you can see, I've got 942 pounds available to spend. So I put that in and the formula just takes off 1500. And as you can see, I'm 558 pounds in debt to the credit card, um, which will be paid off at the end of the month. With then my betting accounts, I'm not gonna bore you by going through those, but that's sat at almost 700 pounds. 
We've then got my Smart Kits Exchange where I hold a lot of money for match betting. And as you can see, that is sat at £7,382.93. £7,382.93. We've then got my affiliate income for the month. Now this is for advertising the profit accumulator link in my bio. Um, and as you can see, my unpaid earnings are £870.66 for the last couple months. We've then got my Odds Monkey affiliate account, which is the same thing just for Odds Monkey, which I advertise a lot less, which is at £32.06. Now my Mr. Trading robot, I've actually withdrawn my money from because it's sat there doing nothing with the current Ukrainian war going on. There's a lot of um, volatility, so they've stopped the trading and I've withdrawn my money out because I want to use it for match betting. So I'm getting much quicker gains and returns on that. So that is sat at zero. And finally, we've got my plum, which is just at £24.61, which is just my rounds, round ups and spare change for the month. And as you can see, that means that we are sat at £67,859.63. Not too bad. And then by dragging that down, we can see we're at £3,210 of inflows for the month, which is really nice to see. I can then whack this save button, which saves all of the um, entries into um, another tab, which shows my portfolio history. And what I can then do is go over to my portfolio history tab, and we can then see how we are doing on my inflows. So for April, we can see we are at 67,859 pounds, which is an increase, so it's in the green, which is nice. My Seki has gone up drastically because I put a lot of cash in for the end of tax year and I've started dollar cost averaging into it. My Fundsmith has stayed around the same. My Lice has gone up a couple hundred pounds. My Binance has gone down almost over a thousand pounds, which is a big hit. The SIPs steadying up nicely. My pension went up a good few hundred pounds. Trading two on two stayed around the same. KuCoin went down a little bit. My Coinbase went down a little bit. My Octopus shares stay the same, shares stay the same. My Monzo went down a little bit. My Santander went up. I got a bonus this month as well, which helped from work. My credit card, my spending was a lot less because I had a bit of an insane month in uh, March where it was really high there. Um, my bank accounts have gone down quite a lot um, because I'm keeping a lot of the money withdrawn so I can instantly um, do more offers. My Smarkets Exchange has been winning a lot recently, so that's very high. My affiliate income has gone up a little bit, which is nice. My Odds Monkey affiliate is around the same. And yeah, that is all of my history and my portfolio for the month of April. So there we have it, £67,000, which is really nice. We have had some things go down, but the match betting has been really pumping it up with the Road to 5K challenge. So I'm really happy with that as my total. I want to hit 70,000 and then we can push for the big 100K. Thank you for watching. It's not a brag at all as well. I'm just showing you what I'm investing in and you can do similar things and see what options are out there. So thank you for watching. If any of this has had any value or use to you, please hit the subscribe button down below so you can get post notifications whenever I post a new video. But thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.